Hey guys, I'm out here today. Um, I hadn't really seen a lot of reviews really showing the motor itself, uh, trolling motor. This is a Tarova uh, that was actually installed. I seen a lot of them people using and running on the water, but uh, a little windy out here. I just got it put on. I want to show you what the difference between this one is and the power drive. Um, it would have saved me a ton of help, and I don't normally do reviews. Matter of fact, this is the first one I've ever did. So anybody looking for a trolling motor, uh, watch this because I think you'll find it real handy. Um, on this motor here, uh, I bought the power drive motor, the same one. The power drive, this is a 12 volt, it's a 54 inch shaft. Uh, I only need, gosh, I probably could have got a 40 inch shaft, but in the Tarova, they didn't make but the uh, 54. I had the 12 volt 48 power drive last week. I got it here, I took it out in the box, put it on the boat, didn't even wire it up. Hated it, absolutely hated it. Let me show you why. On the power drive, the mechanism to lower this thing is this just slides up on it. It don't have a assist and you have to press down on top and there's a just a little key right there so you have to press down and force this out i mean it is extremely hard and i can just imagine at nighttime trying to force that motor down and just falling out the boat so uh, or if you're older you don't want it i think the power drive was uh i think it was like 1300 bucks for the power drive i paid for it this one was 14.99 and it came with the uh the puck and you get the jog feature with the puck when you do the uh anchor uh so if you don't know what that is with the eye pilot you put it on anchor and with the puck it actually is a heading sensor that shows you the facing of the boat and you put it on jog it allows you to jog five feet uh without doing any other work so let me show you what i really like about this one is the assist of putting it down you mash this button here and you just well i'll try to do this with one hand you mash <laughs> let's try it again all right that down right and watch watch this mechanism it, it's like it's spring assist it just falls down and locks in i mean it is just completely no effort at all um how it works um, and the motor is so quiet, it's just extremely quiet. Uh, uh, the power drive was actually noisier than this motor. And to put it up, you mash that lever. I'll tell you what, let me just set this camera down. I'll show you probably a little bit better. All right, put it up. You mash the lever and just, just that easy. And it snaps into place um one thing you need to know about it when you're buying it is what you need to get um it comes with the wires it's got terminal ends on it ready to hook straight to a battery uh if you want to put a plug on it go ahead and order you a plug at the same time uh, i ordered a plug and matter of fact i just got this boat so i had to make uh this aluminum piece and weld it onto the boat uh, for the trolling motor and that's one thing I didn't like about the other reviews is I didn't know how far over it set how straight it was what would hang off the boat so I just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, what it looked like here's the uh, here's the bottom of it this is how far it hangs over uh, and I've seen people put these things on and they put them diagonally or they'll sit them in the front but me I wanted it as far to the side as possible because i'm that guy that takes the trolling motor on and off quite a bit uh if i'm not going to use the trolling motor i'm not going to leave it on there or if i'm using the cast net i'm not going to have it on there so i don't want to stand and have something in the middle of my boat up there in the way another thing i want to show you is how you take it on and off i bought this uh bracket uh just a quick change bracket see if i can get it out with one hand Let's see if I can. Well, 
I say it, I say it's a quick change. Let me get a let me get something so I can grab it. All right. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand here. I'm just gonna put this up under there and pry out just a hair. Get it started so I can get my fingers in there. And it's just how I got my boat. All right, and that pops out. You can see these holes right here. It just slides in there. And then once that's out, um, the motor just comes straight up. And you can see the holes that it fits in. So let me just pick it up and move it to the side. That way you can see how I got it mounted in case you want to build a mount before yours gets here. Um, and you can see how close this is to the edge. But I have to get it close because the front's got to hang over. So, and if I go shrimping or whatever I'm doing, running a trot line, I don't want my trolling motor on the boat and in my way. So, I want to take it on and off real easy. So, let's put it back on. Alright, so I set it back down. Take my pin, push my pin in, and you can either put a lock on it or use the retaining clip it comes with. So I thought that was a, a pretty cool thing. I had one on my other boat and I loved it. Uh, so anyway, the Tarova, definitely better than the power drive, 100%. It has a power button on it that the power drive don't have. Um, so you can turn it on and off the uh jog feature let me show you the puck and here's what i didn't know about the puck too uh, this is the puck back here it has an arrow on it and from other reviews nobody really showed what it was to wiring it up so i didn't know where you could put it and whether it was battery or what it was but anyway up under the puck is just a wire hot in the ground so wherever you're thinking about putting it if you're trying to pre-wire everything before you get it um that's what you do you just find you a hot and ground or pull you a hot and ground to it and you're you're done but anyway i'm just now finished rigging this thing um i put these nice seats in here these are wise they call 3366 seats i love something with armrests it's real hard to find one with an armrest so these are uh captain chairs had to build me a bracket here uh didn't want it sitting on top of the live well and I'll end up cutting two holes here for dry storage on both sides. But anyway, back to the trolling motor. Uh, the operation of the motor is pretty simple. It's got a plug here for a foot pedal. You can put an optional foot pedal in. Or you have the uh, iPilot. And uh, with the iPilot, uh, let's see, okay. Uh, right now the motor's not on. We turn it on and as soon as it comes on it says motor stowed so we can put the motor down all right motors down and uh it says motor down it knows knows all and then you can just uh turn your speed up wherever you want it to And it's extremely quiet. And then right and left, I mean, it's extremely fast response. Uh, and I don't believe that power drive was nowhere near the quality of motor it says. It was just a, uh, I guess it's a the same one as their black one, except for they paint it white and they try to get some more dollars for it. But this is 10 times more motor than the other one ever was. Um, and just to stow it, I mean, that's worth it every penny right there so do yourself a favor and don't get the power drive to pair it with the puck is the pair feature right here mash that mash it on the puck and you're done and you can cut the motor on and off i mean i like that that way it don't have a draw on your battery all the time so anyway guys that's the Minn Kota Tarova. i had a 24 volt before it was a 2016 model or 15 somewhere back in there and they have definitely done some updates to it 
because my other one was nowhere near as nice as this so if you're in the market for one i would definitely recommend this one it's a uh real nice deal and i hadn't even put it in the water yet i mean it's uh, i just put it on the boat you can still see all the aluminum in the boat from where i made the mount and uh made all these little riggings so anyway guys hope this helps out and leave me a comment let me know what you want to see uh anything to do with a, a boat i mean I, I like to fish and everything you guys like to do i work on air conditioning too so anyway if you like it please like the the video and hit the subscribe button and uh let me know what you want to see if you like something about this john boat you want to see how i cut these holes in or something uh let me know i'll make a video for you see you later